Lovely. So, welcome everyone. Welcome. <laughs> welcome into the show. It's gonna be fantastic today. So I figured we were gonna do this wicked cool portal painting waterfall. It's gonna be awesome for number 883. Now we're gonna take our Paint With Josh cake pan and we're gonna put it right up here in the top and make a giant circle around it, right? Make our little uh, portal waterfall series. So you have to have your canvas wet first. As you can see, there's all these different colors all over the canvas, right? You get the crimson, you get the blue, you get the purple where the crimson and blue mixed in all over the place. Very much how we set up a seascape of all these under colors under there, right? So remember guys, tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? Make sure you tag your sandwich place in the comments below. We're trying to make that take off. So tag your sandwich place in the comments. What's your favorite sandwich? If it's Subway, tag Subway, tag Jimmy John's, man. Tag Porta Subs or Capriati's. Tag whoever you gotta tag. Get them in here, I wanna see. I wanna see. So in order to make a gorgeous little portal waterfall with our custom Paint With Josh two uh, eight inch by two inch cake pan, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna place it right there. now. I've taken the clear and I've taken the blue and put them everywhere. So wherever we go across with our white paint, it's going to interact with all those other colors. So we're going to come around here very lightly, just creating a little bit of a different. Oh, look at that. Went from crimson to blue to crimson back again around the side. Now we're not going to move our little plate yet. We're going to keep it right here. So make sure you've got your paint within reach as we come back over here. And we're just going to very lightly start flicking out little bits. They don't all have to be the same. Right, just little bits of light that have come out. We don't move this because we're using it as like a little backboard. Right? We need it to stay there for us. Otherwise, we could come inside of our little opening and that wouldn't be very good. Now, flip the brush over, little streaks of paint as they come off, just like a clock would though, in all different directions, just like the center of a clock would be. You don't want to take these guys and pull them up at an angle or pull them down. That's going to look kind of funky. You got to think of it like a clock and then we'll go back and we'll spread them all out anyway. So. Let's go get some more paint onto our brush. Just a little bit, get my big old head in the way. Come back over here. We're gonna leave the, oh, the bottom sort of open. And you guys that know that watch my show all the time, you know what this is coming up to be. Our little portal waterfall, it's always fantastic. So the people that don't know, we don't wanna give it away just yet. Just keep watching, right? And you'll see something really cool you've probably never seen before tonight. Now, all we're gonna do is finish pulling out our little bits of our aura, right? And every so often we make it a little bit longer just by pulling on it a little bit harder, right? It doesn't need to all be the same all the way around. Never gonna get the light shining out all the exact same way all the way around the thing, right? Now, here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready for the portal? We got it all ready to go, right? All of our brush, all of our color. Are you ready to go? Boom, look at that. We got blue, we got crimson, we got blue down here, a little bit of purpley over here, all depends on how you lay those under colors down. Now, remember guys, this one is available for sale. So you can go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Why does it look like I've got a bit of white right on the tip of my finger? And search for number 883. If you wanna get this painting, it's number 883. And if somebody gets this painting tonight, someone's gonna get a very special surprise. Not the person that buys the painting. You're just gonna get, you're gonna cause someone else to have a very, very, very special surprise. So. Hopefully this painting sells tonight and you're going to help someone that couldn't get a painting on their own if they wanted to, but I'm sure would love to have one. So everybody go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and if you want to see what we're talking about, someone's got to buy this painting and then we'll do the little reveal at the end. It's going to be wicked cool. Wicked cool. So let's see. Tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich, guys? And tag them in the comments because we love to know where everyone is eating. Now. With our one inch brush, all we're gonna do is take this guy and we're gonna spread it out. Just like this, spreading it a little bit further out than it was with our original brush, just softening it down, taking it, pulling it. Maybe we pull a little bit harder in some places and drag it out a bit further, right? Or maybe you just drag it a little bit, all based off of our what, guys? We put the paint up here, right? Our three P's of paint with Josh. So we put the paint up here. Now, what's gonna happen when we hit it with our next P, which is, what's that P2, guys? Does anybody know? Does anybody know P2? We got a turkey sandwich, excellent. Pressure says Tiffany Wallach, or what it, what's it? Yeah, Tiffany Wallach, just like that, says pressure, right? Oh, we all know, based off of our pressure, we're gonna push that paint and have it grow and extend down. And I also wanna say a very special happy birthday to Alex. 
Happy birthday, Alex. Everybody go tag, or at least type in the comments, happy birthday, Alex. He's a little fan, and uh, his mom sent me a message that said it's Alex's birthday today. He would die if everyone shouted out happy birthday to Alex. So, happy birthday, Alex. Woo! Oh, crazy. Spirit Fingers birthday for Alex out there, right? Now, let's come in here, and we're going to grab this up. Hopefully, everyone's saying happy birthday to Alex. Happy birthday, my dude. We're going to come over here. Take this bit of paint, and let's say there was a far-off waterfall. Who knows? Actually, you know what? Let's throw some clouds in this guy. A little bit of clouds, right? We can do whatever we want. And remember, if this, purchase, uh, if this painting gets purchased during the live show, you can add your family somewhere in the scene, probably in the portal, as my family is going to be in the main scene of this guy. So, a little bit of paint, just another little incentive. If you want to be immortalized in a Paint with Josh painting forever as your little birdie family, then you gotta go buy this painting, right? Plus the person who buys this painting gets to name it. Of course, get to name the painting. So go buy it and you get to name it. That's another cool thing. A couple little soft little clouds way off in the distance. And you notice we've sort of kept a space in between our clouds and the color. You notice that these ones turned a little bit more pink as they got closer to that pinker color, right? All those undercolors, but leave a little darker space in between. Now, maybe, just maybe, right? We had this little guy Get a little bit of white paint on it and way out here, we're gonna start going back and forth, just side to side. Straight up, going side to side like that. And eventually our little river would have hit a point and maybe it had to turn this way, All right? So we leave a little darkness in between. And then maybe without even going very far, it had to turn back this way and plop over a little waterfall right there. Just a little waterfall, a little bit of paint coming down off the edge of our little faraway river up inside of our portal moon. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> It's crazy, guys. Remember, if you buy this painting tonight, you're going to help someone out who wishes they could get one and has no idea that by you purchasing tonight is actually going to get them a painting somehow. No idea. Always, Josh always has something up his sleeve. Always up to sleeve. And you can tell how soft and kind of faded away that color is because we didn't add a whole lot of brightness. So just like this, come back in, adding a little bit more bright to it. All right, say so we hit. Turn the brush over, push a little bit more harder, push it down there. Now our river has kind of moved, and again, we go back and we soften it a little bit, just a little. Don't want to push it so hard that we end up mushing all the paint together or taking all the color and making it all the same, right? Just like that, come back here, a little bit more brightness, and let's say we pop down right there. Just a little bit came down right into wherever we think we're coming out. Right now, obviously the water has got to hit somewhere, so we're going to start coming out like this. Oh, no. Now we're gonna roll out of our portal and down into our scene, right? What does your waterfall look like as it falls out of, the, of your, your moon or your portal way back in the distance? What does it look like when it falls out of there and out into your exterior of your scene, right? It's very cool, very neat little thing. And you can always go back and soften over anything you don't wanna show, right? Now we leave a lot of open areas back in here to pop in little bushes. And little things that'll give us more detail and more depth and more distance as we go back and forth. Now, these guys are gonna take a little bit of swiping just to make them a bit brighter, right? Having those little differences and it'll roll up towards the edge and have it just fall right over. Now, we hit down here, we're gonna have a couple little splashy bits, I would imagine, right? A couple little bits of splashies. So, we're gonna take our one inch brush and very lightly mix it up. I hope everybody said happy birthday to Alex. Happy birthday, my dude. I don't even know how old you are, but however old it is, stay that age. Don't get any older. Trust me. Ask all the grown-ups that you've ever known, do they wish they could still be a kid? And the answer is yes. Of course. Everybody tries to grow up too fast, man. And then you don't realize that being a grown-up sucks. Oh, it sucks so bad. Don't be a grown-up ever. Stay a kid. Just like that. I'm going to come in and get some white. I'm going to come back over here, and we're going to accentuate our brightness. Our little waterfall is going to fall out like that. Crop down, have it come over just a little bit. No need to go crazy, right? Doesn't have to be the craziest, most gigantic, thickest waterfall you've ever seen. Now, you can see how these are on a downward angle right here. We're going to take them at the top and start to slide it back. Just like that. Creates that little bit of motion towards and then falling over. Remember, guys, tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? Because we love to know the sandwich question. Remember, tag them in the comments, too. If it's Subway, tag Subway, man. If you got uh, Jimmy John's, tag Jimmy John's. Capriati's, Porta Subs, 
You got your local spot? They may not have a TikTok, but try to tag them anyway. Right? Try to tag them. Why not? Now, here comes the best part. So, we need to start adding a little bit of depth back there into our scene, right? Our water's looking a little funky. So, we need to create a shadowy color mixed up of all of these colors, right? And we're using right now today. We have all these colors on our palette, but we're not using all of them at one time. We're going to use these three colors, maybe a bit of our brown and yellow over here to make some tree trunks. That's about it. Nothing too crazy. All right, we've already got all of our blue and crimson all over the canvas as our under colors. You can see all these red little hues and blue and different back in there. It's because we covered our entire canvas in paint first. And then we paint across it with white and have everything show. And then every so often we got to use some dark color to make all sorts of different things, right? So let's come into this dark color, which is a very deep, dark, purpley mix. It looks black, but it's blue, crimson, and black all mixed together right there in that little pile. And we're going to dab in just the top corner of the brush and you don't need the whole thing. It doesn't have to be crazy. And we're going to use a smaller brush because we're going to pop up and sort of cover over some bits of our, where our water's coming from back there, right? Not trying to go all the way outside of the portal just yet, right? Keeping it on the edge. Just like that. Now, in this dark area where our water had to come and hit and then turn that way and then come back this way, all right, we're going to go back in, get a little bit more paint. As our number one P of paint with Josh is the amount of paint that's on the brush, right? The amount of paint that we put up there. And then P2, pressure. P3, practice. Three Ps that will really help you out, right? Now, here we go. As we extend out into the scene, we're gonna drop down, we're gonna come out of the portal piece, and there's gonna be a whole nother little bush right there as it starts to bring its way out here, just like the water is falling over right now. <clears throat> gonna be very, very cool. All we're gonna do is go back and highlight those things, add a couple little trees to them, and then start to drop our way down. So should we finish doing that? Now, you know what, let's do this. Let's come in here, grab the other brush. Grab our little highlight brush, same brush. I just haven't had any dark paint on this one for a while. We're gonna come into our liquid white paint. It's a very liquidy, runny paint, right? And then we're gonna go into our crimson, make these little purpley reddish flowers. Gorgeous, right? Tapping into it so it'll come off of our brush and dab onto there very easily, right? The harder you have to push, the more little things you're gonna smush, right? The more little cool little bits you're gonna end up covering, and that's not fun, right? Bang, just like that. A little bit of color fades back into that deep darkness. Same thing down here, getting our last little bit of crimson, popping this guy out. Ooh, bringing him outside. Oh, guys, just having it come towards us, guys. So remember, if you want to buy this painting, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And once you're over in my Etsy store, you can either search for the word TikTok or search for the number 883. And that'll pull up this painting right here. Now. If this painting sells during the show, someone's going to get a very special surprise. So I hope it sells during the show because it'd be more fun to do the surprise during the show than do it after, right? So I hope just for this other person's sake that it does sell. And it's only like 207, something barely over 200, something like that. I can't even remember. 213, something, whatever it is. I can't even remember what it is. Let's see. Link is in the bio, 883. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now we're going to come over here. What, what would I do without these mods? And anyone who has ever modded for me in the past, what would I have done without all of you guys? I appreciate everybody. Let's bring this guy out like that. Bring this guy over like that and over like that. And boom, just like that, coming out, right? Taking him very lightly with those light little bits. Pulling it back. We've got our dark separator back in here before our bit of river. Got our bit of water crashing over, got our river back there, and even further on, it goes on forever and ever and ever, right? All the way off into the back. Now, let's go back into that dark color that we've mixed up, our blue, crimson, and black. And remember that, because I'm gonna ask you about it later. Blue, crimson, and black. And come in over here, and let's just make a little, little treat. But we're gonna come out of the portal, right? Very little pressure, and then as we come down, we push harder and harder and harder until your tree trunk looks like it's resting right inside all those little bits. Just like that, right? All those little pieces, bingo, bango. Come over here, load up a little bit more paint. Come out of our portal again, right? Like that, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit more pressure as you get down. That's gonna stretch out your trunk, right? Just like that, guys, that's looking really cool. Now, let's take a bit of our light color. Well, actually, we can add some branches onto that little guy out there. So let's wash this brush off. 
try to get most of the darkness off of that brush. We're gonna end up using it again later, but in the meantime, anyway, getting some of that darkness off of that brush. Sounds like there's lots of people over there in the Etsy store. Like I said, if you buy this painting, you're gonna be helping out somebody who, you know, really wants one. And it's a kind of a cool situation. So head over to the store, help them out by buying this painting. Number 883, go over there like that. Bingo, I'm gonna drop off a couple little bits, little tree trunks, little branches, little all sorts of stuff as we go across with our odorless mineral spirits. It's going to show these little branches. They're gonna drop off the brush so much easier than it would with just the thick, dry oil paint, right? Make our little trunk extend up even higher up there. A couple little branches off this guy. Little bits, right? All we're really looking for are the tree trunks around the outside, the little tree branches that are poking through all that color and going off in another direction. Those are the branches that we're gonna be looking for. Now, these guys over here, against the back of our little piece back there, they're gonna add a little bit of depth between the trees and the clouds until we get up here and they start coming out of the portal, right? That adds so much more depth because you imagine the tree being inside that little scene back there. And so when a tree trunk or branch pops its way out, you're like, oh crap, that's on the outside. I see it now, I see it. Look at that, very cool. One more little guy, see if we can get a little guy way over there. Get the creep out, smallest bit. There we go, perfect. Perfect, you guys. So let's go over here. Let's grab up a bit of our white and a bit of our crimson since we're using just four colors in this painting, All right? Bit of that, we don't want it to be so super bright there we go, a little bit of crimsony, very dark pinkish purpley mix. Boom, and we're gonna take a bit of that and come across the edge of our little tree trunks and hopefully it'll light it up just enough. Hello, what was that noise? My goodness, Lisa, let's see Lisa, let's just see, 883, my goodness. Well, it looks like this one's sold, so we're gonna get to announce and hopefully Alex is still watching, because as you guys know, I mentioned earlier that it's Alex's birthday today. One of my youngest fans, longtime watcher. He watches with his mom, Shasta, or Sasha, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to remember as I'm trying to paint. So, watches with Sasha all the time. They love watching my show, and she said it was his birthday today, and I was like, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm in the giving mood, and I was like, what does, um, what does Alex like? Does he like kind of uh, Marvel movies, or does he like more like uh, 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 Pirates of the Caribbean type movies? You know what I mean? Like, you want a little pirate steam, or you want a more of a spacey Marvel type? She said Marvel. So, this is what I'm gonna send Alex out of the goodness of my heart, because it's his birthday. Obviously, you won't get it on your birthday, my man, but we're gonna send you one of these Paint With Josh classics that has Lord Thanos drawn on him, right? Awesome little thing that one of my buddies and I got together and did a long time ago. So for Alex's birthday, you said you like Marvel movies. I'm going to give you this. You can have it, my friend. It is your birthday gift from me to you because Lisa helped you out and bought this painting. So thank you, Lisa, to whoever bought it. And it's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to message your mom later and I'll get your guys' address and I'll stick it in a box and I'll mail it out to you. Happy birthday, my dude. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday to you. And thank you to the person who bought the painting. We very much appreciate you. And uh, very much, very much so. Now we're gonna come in here. We're gonna tack up all this white paint. We're gonna come and make a bunch of clouds. Right? We had all these little clouds falling out into our scene because we were looking up at our moon and all of a sudden we had this eclipse, a portal open, and it started gushing out water into our scene. It turned out fantastic. Just fantastic. Look at that, boom. Not trying to cover every single bit. Not trying to get rid of all the colors, right? Don't have to cover everything. Don't want to cover it all. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to come over there like that. And we're going to come over here like this. We're just going to start to mix it up. Almost like the, the water has come out and made its little mist, right? You can almost imagine a river being right here, which very well could be in your painting, right? No matter how you do it or how many times you do it, you can always change it every which way you want to do it, right? You could do a bit of river here this time. You could do some trees. You could do a mountain. You could have it drop, you know, snow onto a mountain if you wanted to. I'm, I'm dead serious. Whatever you want to do, 
however cold it is on the outside of your painting, right? Out here where we are versus however cold it is in there could be two different temperatures, right? We're looking through a portal in space and time. Now, who bought this painting? I got to know in the comments. So does somebody's in the, somebody's in the comments, obviously that bought it. You got to let me know. No way, no way, Airy Fairy Faye bought the paint. You're so amazing. I was about to pin your comment and you did it for me. Thank you for that. And I'm sure that, uh, that Alex and his mom, Sasha, really thank you for that as well. So, very cool, very much appreciated. Airy Fairy Faye, one of the most awesomest mods in recent history. Excellent, thank you for that, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Now we're gonna come in over here. You know what? I'm gonna give Airy Fairy Faye one of my used brushes as well. Just because, one of my used sign brushes we'll give to Airy Fairy Faye just for buying this, for helping us out and giving away a painting to a young kid who it's his birthday today. Just awesome. Awesome, I'm already feeling good about it. Okay, let's go over here. Let's mix up our dark color. All right, we're gonna mix up a bit more of the color. Now I've already explained what color this is. Does anybody in the comments know which color I use to make this color, right? We have three colors amongst all these colors. Which three colors do we use to make this dark color right here? Can you tell me in the comments? Anybody can tell me? Let's see, he's bouncing and almost crying. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, there it is, pin. There you go, TK Designs, blue, crimson, and black. Blue, crimson, and black, that's right. So we're gonna take our black and our crimson and our blue. I can't believe the guy, the little guy's bouncing and almost crying, that's awesome. That is awesome. Made me tear up a little bit too. Look at that, that's a real tear right there. That's a real tear. Now we're gonna come over here. And try not to cry all over Airy Fairy Faye's, uh, Harry Fairy Faye's painting, right? We're gonna come in here, gonna load up the brush, just like this. We're gonna come in and let's just start dabbing in a bit of forest way out here. All right, and this guy, We've got a bit of foresty trees underneath our scene here. Very cool, just like that. Coming down, tapping up, going over, coming here, going there. Don't even have to stretch across the whole painting, but look how sharp they are along the top, right? So you almost can imagine all of this water becoming the clouds or the mist. Maybe it hits back behind our forest and creates all this mist, all that depth, all kind of craziness on a Saturday night. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And I had somebody ask me earlier today, how do you paint the fog or the mist? Still, that one tear is about to, like I'm trying to suck it back up, but I didn't want to go back up, so I just got to get it out. We got to get it out. Thank you, Airy Fairy Faye, for making me cry over Sasha and Alex. Appreciate that. All right, I think it's gone. Is it gone? That's real feelings, guys. Real feelings on this show. We don't show you fake crap, right? I don't put on a persona. I mean, I, I do kind of get more amped up when I'm on camera versus when I'm off, but that's not a persona. That's just excitement, right? All right, so we had a person say earlier today, how do you paint the mist, Josh? Well, you sort of don't. You let the brush kind of do it on its own. All we're gonna do is dab into our little bit of white, just like that. We're gonna come into here, we're gonna start dabbing it in. Look at just from a couple taps on the brush. Look at how much white is there, All right? So we're gonna come back in here, we're gonna start to mix it down, tapping it. See how it starts to get dull and starts to go darker instantly from these guys and over here and over here, right? We went bam, bam, bam. So we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna start to tap. And all that white is gonna mix with all of our dark purpley mix. It's gonna mix with the colors that are underneath the canvas. And it's gonna create all of this gorgeous foggy mist just by tapping down the corner of the brush. Tap, 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 tap right? all across our whole thing. We never want it to be a perfectly straight line. So I like to start up here, come down, just like a heart monitor, popping up, popping down, all across the whole thing. All right, take this guy at the bottom. Boom, now you got a little bit of foggy, misty craziness right down here. And it's not even as bright as I want it to be. So let's get it a little bit brighter. Come in here with a bit more paint on the brush, a couple more dabs, right? Dropping the paint out there. A lot of people paint grass like this, literally like, with the big old two inch brush. And you can tell they used the big old two inch brush when they did it. So not talking crap or anything. I'm just saying a lot of people do that. I'm not doing that in this one. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna tap over here. Mix it down, mix it down, mix it down, mix it down. 
boom, 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 boom. Just tapping it, having it mix in with all of that. Now look, you can drop a whole nother layer of trees in or a bit of water or whatever you wanted to do. All up to us, right? How are we gonna make our trees look? How do you want your forest and your bit of foggy mist at the bottom to look, right? How, how, how? Let's see. Thank you for all the follows, guys. I love y'all. I'm sorry I have to blow my nose because we were crying earlier. <laughs> how did I make my own self cry? That's the question. Too late to make it look like it's raining a little bit from the portal cloud. Oh, no, definitely not, girl. All you got to do to make it rain like, very far away rain, right? Down here, it's obviously covered by the trees, but she's talking about the portal clouds up here. She wants it to be raining down into the river which would rain into these clouds, which would rain into another river, which would rain into more clouds is what I'm assuming, right? So just by the smallest paint that we have on the brush, come back in here, maybe off in the distance, we're gonna very lightly pull down, almost leaving a little dark separator underneath the cloud and the rain, so you like that? Now, with any amount of pressure, as we all know, with our one inch brush, any amount of pressure that we use to pull down is gonna make it look softer and further away, and it's gonna help it grow, right? So now it looks like it's pouring rain, from way back here. And the more you do it, the more you get rid of your little strokes and your little brush marks, and the more you have this soft little bit that's way back there in the distance, right? Now, we don't really want it to touch. When I'm look, like, I live out in Las Vegas, right? It doesn't rain very often out here in Las Vegas. And when it does rain, it dumps rain just like that in one localized area. It just dumps for like five minutes and then the rain's done. And if you're not underneath that rain, you didn't get rained on for the whole day, right? Or for the whole summer sometimes. So, smallest bit, and then you can always go back in, you can brighten it up by adding a little bit more paint, right? All depends on what we want it to look like. Shoot, it could look just like that. We could put a, 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 a lightning bolt back in there too, it'd be really neat, right? All depends on how you want it to look. What do you think about that, Airy Fairy Fay? It's kind of dumping down into our river. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. Oh my God, yes, thank you, she says. Wow, so amazing, appreciate you guys. All of you guys are so great. Thank you for tuning in. And like I said, I had to blow my nose earlier. I made my own self cry. How sad is that? Like that's how many, that's how much feeling I have, right? I have so many feelings <laughs> that I was like, I'm going to surprise this kid. If the painting sells, I'm going to try to, because I know he's watching, right? I know Alex is watching. So I'm not, I'm not trying to give away that I'm going to give Alex a painting if this painting sells. And so I'm like, I'm trying to, to prep it. I know in my head. And as soon as she said, like, he's bouncing around and, and almost crying, I immediately tears were like streaming down my face. How can I make my own self cry? Come on, Josh, get it together. Get it together, man. Every once in a while, my, my feelings creep out, guys. They, they creep out of there. Put a little lightning bolt back in here, too. If it's going to be raining, I'm going to have a little strike. I love painting lightning. Gosh, it's just so much fun. And people always say, they go, man, I wish I could paint, but I have a, I've got a shaky hand. I go, you wouldn't, you want to know what I wouldn't give to have a shaky hand while painting lightning? Man, just, just paint lightning storms and then boom, you're perfect, right? You don't have to paint people or portraits with a shaky hand. Just paint a lightning storm out there, man. Very lightly. Ooh, just like that. Shoo! Come down and just light up the earth or whatever, you know, distant reality dimension that is out there. Now, let's see. I'm going to ask Airy Fairy Fay only because she's a mod and she's one of my favorite uh, customers as well. Uh, what do you want to put at the bottom? Do you want to have like a little river down here? We could put in some more trees. We could put in bigger trees. We could put. I wanted to put some more sticky trees in. It always adds some depth when you throw a big old sticky tree in across all this color right here. But Initially, I mean, in the older scenes, we'd put a river way out here, right? I don't have any paint on the brush, so you can always go back. But we'd put a river way out there and then sort of like, like waterfall it down, but we're sort of running out of space to do that. And if we do it, it's just gonna be this teeny tiny little waterfall with almost nothing to fall into, you know what I mean? So, all depends. You tell me what you want. We can do a little river. We can do, uh, ooh, that looks like, that, that looks really cool, actually. Looks really good. Do whatever brings me joy. You know what? This is bringing me joy. <laughs> this is bringing me joy. So what we're gonna do is, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have a little baby waterfall, right? We got a little baby waterfall back here. We can have a little baby waterfall up here. So let's say all of our water came crashing down and somewhere back behind the forest, 
It started to creep its way out. Get it up a little bit higher up here. Get, we can get it up a little bit up here, right? Just like that. And we start to work in our bit of river back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. See how just by raising it up initially from where our, our stencil was, our little with no, uh, no paint on the brush kind of stencil. And now we've brought it up about a good whole inch. So now we can take it and actually needs to come a little closer. Come to me closer, darling. Down here, darling. Come closer. There we go. All right, just right there. Now we're going to take our brush. It's got a lot of paint on both sides. We're going to fall off that way, going slightly to the right, a little bit down. All right, slightly to the right, a little bit down. That way it looks like our river's gone like this all the way through the thing and it's eventually hit a spot here that's forcing it over to the side. All right, now we're going to fill in the rest, going to slide it off to the edge just a little bit. You don't even have to fill the whole thing. I'm telling you, don't overdo it. The more you overdo, the more you're going to be like, man, Josh, why would you tell me to do that? I'm telling you not to. Don't overdo it. Don't put too much paint out there. Don't try to make it too bright. Don't try to do anything. Do nothing. <laughs> Don't even paint. Just watch me, okay? Let's come back over here. And right at the bottom of those little guys, we got to make a little bit of a pool. Just a little pool of rivery water down here. We'll even paint the whole palette down here, right? The whole thing. We sort of ran out of space. But that's what happens when you're doing a live show. Normally, this scene's done on a bigger canvas, but I wanted to keep the price down in order for it to sell, in order for Alex to get his little painting, which by the way, if you haven't seen, this is the Paint With Josh classic that we're gonna give Alex for his birthday, right? Long time ago, me and my uh, buddy, uh, Derek Cross, you can find him on Instagram, Derek Cross Art. He drew Thanos with a pencil, like literally colored pencils on black paper, drew it, sent me a couple prints and I chopped them up and stuck them to the painting way back when we were having our, our exploratory phase during Paint With Josh, right? But, the, I mean, the planets didn't come out too bad. And it's an awesome little classic piece. Classic, classic piece. I believe it was painted back in, uh, sorry, August 29th of 2020 is when this painting was done. So, cool little present for Alex. I've kept it for a long time, just waiting to give it to Alex, right? Awesome little thing that we, uh, that we did. Even made my own self cry. So, thank you, Airy Fairy Faye, for doing that. Obviously, there are 30, I think there's 31 other paintings available in my store. If you want to go in and get one for yourself, I've got lots, right? Now look, see how we covered up into our water versus down onto the water? What are we trying to leave at the very bottom of this little guy down here? You guys know? Because we talk about it all the time. We do literally talk about it all the stinking time, especially when we're doing seascapes and stuff, especially when we're doing seascapes. So what's that little thing that I mentioned all the time? when we're doing seascapes and ocean paintings. Gotta keep that little dark separator. Allie, let's pin your comment right there. Excellent. Remember everybody, tell Alex happy birthday, because it is his birthday today. He just got a brand new, well, not brand new. He got a, he got a Paint With Josh classic painting for his birthday and he's super stoked about it. So everyone say happy birthday to him. I'm sure he's still watching. Him and his mom watch all the time. Say happy birthday to the, the little guy. I wanna know how old he is, by the way. How old is Alex? And then, uh, Sasha, if you can pin your comment again, talking about how he was reacting when I gave him the painting, uh, I would love to read that without tears in my eyes. That would be fantastic. So you're going to have to pin it again because I had tears in my eyes the first time. So just like this, with a little bit of pressure, we're going to take Airy Fairy Faye's mist, where she's got all of her little Airy Fairy buddies that like to hang out in the mist back there, right? Floating on their little wings, I assume. We're going to come back just like that, right? Oh, man, that's cool, guys. Now, almost going to do the exact same scene right out here on the front where we got our bushes that hide our river. So you got to put something up here, right, to hide where the water is coming from. And then you got to put something over here to realize why it pushed its way back, right? So what do we do when we need a shadow? We go into that dark color. And what's that dark color made up of? I want to know, did she pin the comment? He's 11. Oh, that's so cool. My daughter's 11 too. My daughter is 11. Hey, let me tell you, uh, Alex, you don't know everything, okay? Your mom knows way more than you do because my daughter thinks that she knows everything as well. It's not true, okay? Parents know. We've done everything that you plan on doing in your life. We've already done, right? You want to go, you know, jump off a, a, a ramp with your bike? I've already done it and I hurt myself. Don't do it, okay? I've already tried. There's lots of things. Everything that you've ever, you want to try to sneak out in the middle of the night? We've already done it. We will catch you. We have eyes everywhere. And we will catch you, Alex. Your mom is a ninja. And she will catch you. Whatever you try to do, 
There is no hiding from moms, and moms will tell you. They are constantly watching, and there is no hiding from a mom. So quit trying to screw around, Alex. Be a good kid. And don't try to do anything, because we've already done it. We already planned on you trying it, because we did it when we were your age, right? We already know. So listen to your mama. She knows best, just like that. Can you take a little bit over here? A little bit of our bushy bits. We'll even bring them down into the next little section. Why not? Just wrap it around, right? All you got to do is highlight them differently, and they'll look like they're more split up. Ooh, we could even put a bit of bush right here, and it'll look like the river's coming out at us versus going to the side. That's going to be kind of neat. Do we have enough paint? Up here we do. Let's get a little bit more of our black and blue, just like that. Everybody listen to your mamas. They always know. They always know, and they always catch you. Moms always catch you. You think you're sly. You're like, oh, yeah, no way she's going to get this. Boom, she catch you. I'm telling you, don't try it, Alex. Don't try it. Stay out of trouble, my dude. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. The wrath of an angry mama is not worth it. Oh, man. Heck, oh. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Did I do that on camera and throw my brush? It was not a, uh, I didn't mean to do that. But it slipped out of my hand. I swear, Mom, it slipped. It slipped. I didn't throw it at him. It slipped. All right. Get a little bit of color off the brush. Now we're going to come in. We're going to have two brushes. And we can go simultaneous highlights with these guys, just like we did up here. So we'll put a little bit of crimson on one brush. And what if we put a little bit of blue on the other brush? And then we can stick with our theme, right? So let's get a touch. Just a touch of destiny. A little touch of crimson onto our brush like that, right? little dab of white in there just to brighten it up a smidge. Now we're going to come back and let's say we had our crimson there. So let's put our crimson caddy corner and then we'll put our blues caddy corner and then it should play well with our eyes versus having all the red on this side and all the uh, blue on this side, right? So come in here, little taps, little dabs, not too much pressure, right? Look at how immediately the brush went black, just immediately dark, right? So it's going to mix in with all that dark color that we just put down there, that really deep, dark purple, right? So go back, wash the brush, get a little bit more liquid white, come back in, dab it up, right? And then it'll come off the brush a little easier. A couple little bits, right? Maybe down in here, we skip. We leave a whole big dark section right in there. And you pop in a new little set. Might look like that one's a little further away. This one's a little closer. Gorgeous. Now let's go wash this brush off. Switch to the other brush, get that blue on there and see if we can't have a couple little blueberry bushes out here in the midst of the waterfall. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. All right, put that brush away, come back here, grab in our blue, dab up a little bit of our white into our blue just to brighten it a little bit. We don't want it to be so super dark. All right, come out into there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. All depends what we want it to look like. Little things happening everywhere. You know what I want to do, actually? Just because it looks so gorgeous. Just sort of mix in a few little spots here and there of, a, of each color. All right, you have that little bit of shadow, a little bit of highlight. Now, there's too much blue on that brush, so let's switch back to the other brush. Over here, a little bit of our white into the crimson. Let's pop it in down here, right? A couple little bits. And then, let me get a little bit, yes, right up out there. Like it was just growing through, right? They never just stay where they're supposed to be, these bushes. They're always all over the stinking place, and they never like to grow. They have to kind of grow all together. You know what I mean? They're like, hey, you got water over here. I want that water. Give me that water. I'm going to take some, right? That's what they're doing. Just like that couple little lit up flower tops. Awesome. A little bit of our white on the top of here, just to have a few little bits of like, I don't know, little blooms, little blooms in the night. That looks really cool. Really cool. That's why I always say the painting can always be a little touch different, slightly different over here versus over there. Sometimes we add the little white flower bit. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we add the blue or the crimson or the white or the whatever. It's always going to be a little bit different. And that's the best part about painting. No matter what, we can all use the same exact colors, the same exact brushes, the same exact everything and be 1000% different with our outcomes. And that to me is the, literally the best part about art. No matter what, every single person who picks up a brush can do something different compared to someone else, right? No matter what it is, if it's good or if it's bad, it's going to be different. And that's the best part about it, right? Who's, who's to say it's bad or good? 
I mean, besides paint with Josh paintings, those are all fantastic. You guys know that. But, I mean, I, I don't sit there and say everyone else has a bad painting because it doesn't look exactly like mine, right? There's so many little things you can find from a color to a, a cloud or just one tree branch or anything that I can find in someone's painting and give them a compliment about. Hey, I really like the sharpness of the tip tops of your trees. I know it took a while to get that practice to make them sharp like that. Excellent job. Really like how your water comes out right here and it looks really textured, right? I really like the base where you kept that shadow. I can always find something that I'm gonna like about your painting. So don't be nervous about sending me your art, guys. Send me your pictures. I wanna see them. I wanna see every one, right? What I really wanna do is on Facebook, we've got almost, uh, almost a half million followers on Facebook alone, just on Facebook. 300, uh, sorry, 464,000 followers, something crazy like that. So if you're on Facebook and you're not following me, how dare you? Shame on you for not following me over on Facebook. But if you are, um, oh, <laughs> send me your pictures, right? Send me via messenger one of my tutorials that you did, right? I want to amass a giant amount of pictures and I'm going to post them. All of your guys' art is going to go out to 464,000 people. So send me the photos that you've done where you've copied one of my paintings and it came out good or bad or this or that or whatever, send it to me, I wanna see it. I wanna see it and so does the rest of the world. We all wanna see what you got going on. Maybe you're better than me, that's totally fine, dude. I'll start watching your videos, maybe I'll learn from you. No, that's not true, Josh doesn't watch anyone's videos. I watch no one. And it's not like a, I mean it is, it, it is totally a butthole attitude from me, totally, it's like, if, if anybody who's old enough that used to listen to Howard Stern way back when he was young and he got popular and he grew and he got his whole mega fanship, right? He was always honest, right? He didn't, he didn't like the other DJs that were playing music. He wasn't, he was always in competition with them. He wanted to be number one, right? I'm not so much into the number one thing anymore because I pretty much am. <laughs> but now that we're here, I like to give the floor to other artists, right? So what I'm going to do is start to bring more people onto the show. We'll have like little multi-guest sections. Maybe we'll do two, three, four people painting all at the same time. Not necessarily doing the same painting, but like Jonathan Everly, Eve's Artistry. Um, uh, what's her name? No, uh, what the heck? I always have, I've been telling you guys to go follow her and then now I forget the name. <laughs> Kay's Custom, is it Kay's Custom Art? Something like that, maybe? But I want to have a lot of people and introduce more people to younger, smaller pages that have less followership. So we can all get on here and sort of, I want to be like the Keith Lee of Las Vegas art, but for the world. You know what I mean? Just kind of expose you guys to more people. So send me your pictures. I want to see what you got, how many times you've done a Paint With Josh painting. Send me all of them. I don't care. How many pictures do you have that you want 465,000 people to see? That's what I want. Because it's going to be cool. I want to post like 50 to 100 images. So send me your photos, guys. Go over and send them to me on Instagram or through Facebook. Instagram is Paint with Josh K. Facebook is Paint with Josh, right? Either one of those. Send them through because I'd love to see them. And I hope while I've been babbling this whole time that you guys have been coming up with a name for Airy Fairy Face Painting. I really hope that's the case because she needs help choosing a name guys and and you know what i really i was thinking about putting a tree over here but i just i don't know i love these bushes so much and i don't even think a tree is really needed but who's my inspiration well definitely bob ross i learned by painting bob ross videos and i taught myself the rest right but like i was saying the whole reason why i started bringing that up is because i don't watch anyone else i don't watch kevin hill i don't watch uh, I don't even watch Paint with Bram. I love Paint with Bram. I don't watch his videos. I don't have time. I, wanna, I, I gotta do my own stuff. You know what I mean? I gotta edit my own videos. I gotta, I gotta come up with new ideas for new paintings. I gotta manage a Facebook page for 465,000 people. I gotta manage a 301,000 Instagram follower page. I gotta manage a 400, no, 360,000 TikTok member page. Like, I got a lot of crap to do. I don't have time to watch other people's videos. I don't even watch Bob anymore. I really don't, because I'm literally either painting or editing, or eating, or sleeping. <laughs> That's all I do. That's all I do. My manager's like, you gotta get out. You gotta get out more. I'm like, dude, we gotta make sales. I have to paint 
in order to make sales. I can't leave the studio. So, very cool. I'm like a hermit that paints for you guys. And you know why? You know why I do it? Because I freaking love it. That's why. That's why we do it. Because we love it, man. We absolutely love. I love coming up here. I love being with you guys. Look at my hair. It looks like super white. Look at this. Right? I love being with you guys. I love showing you how to do cool little things and fun little paintings that, oh, okay, no tree, fine. I was gonna just put a massive old trunk right in here. Uh, but fun little paintings that you can do within an hour. We've done this in, it took less than 45 minutes to do this painting, guys. Really, thank you, I appreciate that for saying it's beautiful. Into the Mystic, remember, Airy Fairy Faye, the person who's right here, who's pinned in the comments, she bought this painting. To my heart, I love ya. Um, but yeah, you gotta help her name it, right? She might have struggle naming it. So you come up with a name. What would you name this painting? You know, water from portal falls or waters between space and time or something. What would you name it? Right. And then she might just choose your uh, title. And if she does choose your title, we'll pin your comment. And that way, I think this one was like 207, 215. I can't even remember. I honestly don't remember. I think it was like, it was 356, but it's 40% off of that. So Whatever that totals down to, <laughs> that's what it was. Um, I think it was three, uh, uh, 213, something like that. That's what I'm gonna guess. Let's see, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, 213.60, I was totally right. Totally right, bro, totally. Yeah, 213.62, on the money. So 16 by uh, 20 is normally my, that's normal, the normal price, 216, 32. Sometimes they're 207, sometimes they're 230. It all depends on how I'm feeling that day, whether or not we're gonna have a lot of detail, whether or not it's gonna take a, a short amount of time or a longer amount of time, um, depending on the painting. That's how I base the, the prices. Sometimes they sell before the show's over. Sometimes they sell at this point. Sometimes they sell before the painting is even touched with the brush. And those are my favorite. Actually, they're not. They're my least favorite. When I when I don't even have paint on the canvas yet, that's like anxiety to me. If it gets purchased, I'm like, oh crap. Now, like I really, I don't even, I didn't even have an idea and it's already gone. I really got to come up with something now, right? So, portals, waterways, I like that. Hodor realms, mystic, anything realm. I love realm. I love that word, realm. For the realm. <laughs> Mystical abyss. Portal to a waterfall dream world. I like that. Oh, you know what I gotta add is the birds. Add the, oh, and Airy Fairy Fate, you bought the painting during the show. So you get to add your birds into the portal. How many birds would you like? Just you, you got cats, you got a husband, boyfriend, anybody else? Just, we could just do one single bird. You do whatever you want. You tell me, pin it in the comments. And uh, I'm gonna go add my little family flying through the scene over here, my little birdies. And we're gonna go flying through over here. And because you bought, during a portal show, that means you get to add your little family to the portal painting. It turns out fantastic. So name it 11, because Al oh, Alex and the Stranger Things, he's 11, she's 11, and it, I got it, I got it. I'm there with you, I'm totally there, totally there. Now, do we want to add any little birdie family in for uh, Airy Fairy Fae? You want a little bird family in there in your, in your section, right? The little portal section, 11 birds. Oh my, that would be a lot of birds to fill up that little space, right? We're gonna name it 11, that's for sure. But do you wanna add any little birds back, maybe flying back to the sky, maybe up through here, somewhere in the portal? Let's see. I, we could not do 11 birds. That would be way too many birds, right? way too many. Way too many birds. So in the meantime, while she's sort of figuring it out, we're gonna come down here and sign the old painting, just like that. So remember, Airy Fairy Faye bought this painting and because she bought it during the live show, she gets to add her family to the scene. She gets to name it one solo bird. And she basically gave a painting away to the birthday boy, Alex, by buying this painting. She uh, enabled me to give it away for free, which is really cool. And there goes Airy Fairy Faye flying through her scene, trying to come out. She's like, ooh, what's this? This is a whole new world. Like, a whole new world. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm done. I'm done, guys. That's it. It's over. Uh, no one's watching me ever again. It's fine. Okay. Now, 
Uh, we're going to turn it around. We're going to name it 11. Now that we've got the thing on there, we're going to flip the sucker around over here. We're going to name it 11 for Alex on his birthday. Number 883, as you can see. And turned out fantastic. So, just like that, a Paint with Josh original has found a new forever home, and we appreciate it. We're going to title it E11. Very cool title. Now, this was painted on 7 of 29, right? It's the 29th today, right? I'm going to feel so bad. It's not the 29th. This is the 29th today, right? Anybody? Can anybody say what day it is for me? Is it the 29th? It's my best. Oh, I think I appreciate that. It is the 29th. Okay. 729 of 2023. And we're all going to go check out paintwithjosh.com in order to find my live schedule, to find my YouTube page, my Facebook, my Instagram, to come back over here to TikTok, to go over to my Amazon affiliate store or my Amazon wish list where you can send me gifts or paint or brushes, all stars, those are the stuff that I use, right? And uh, the Etsy store, of course, you can find the Etsy store on paintwithjosh.com. It's the very first thing you come to. So if you wanna get a very cool painting, very similar to this one, or something completely, you know, out, uh, well, completely ordinary, since this one is sort of out of the ordinary, right? You wanna get a completely ordinary painting? I've got lots of those. I've got seascapes, I've got landscapes, and I can do custom ones for you, no problemo. So, I even have a custom listing in my store. Uh, it's for $2.95. I think it's on sale this week, so 40% off at $2.95 will actually bring it down less than this painting was. And uh, you can tell me, hey, I wanna do a portal with blue and, and green, or green and yellow, or blue and purple, or whatever. I wanna do a portal scene like you did, or I wanna do an ocean scene maybe like this guy, right? Like, hey, I was looking, and you know what? That night, this painting sold, right? It didn't, it's available for you guys to buy. I'm just, I'm just like saying it out into the universe, pretending I was one of you guys going to get a custom painting, saying, hey, that painting sold, but I wanna get another one just like it. Can you do me one like that? And I'd be like, of course, come hither into my shop. <laughs> Drink from this cauldron. <laughs> no, nobody? So will I do portrait paintings? I unfortunately can't paint people. If I painted a person, it would look like this bush right here, right? Uh, I have done a few faces in like the stones and the rocks and stuff that we've done, but not, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't charge, a, it wouldn't be, it would like, it would be, it would be like a one-year-old smeared paint all over the canvas. That's what it would look like. So thank you, Airy Fairy Faye for purchasing this. Uh, can you paint me something to do with anxiety and God's the only way, or the only one that helps me through it. So I've done a few, uh, we have actually, oh, I actually have a very cool canvas print. It would be perfect for you. It's the resurrection and crucifixion scene all in one. So you've got the three crosses and you've got the tomb opening with light shining through it as if God and or if Jesus resurrected and came out on Easter uh, Sunday. It's, I think I have two different versions of it. That might be really cool for you. It's got a lot of crosses in it and, um, very like reassuring, a lot of rebirth. It's very, very cool. And uh, if you like it, uh, so yeah, we could, we gotta, got to, got to. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I've got uh, canvas prints of the Easter scene. Um, I've got poster prints of newer paintings, all sorts of stuff. 54 poster prints, 50 something canvas prints, plus 30 something regular or uh, original paintings, uh, along with clothes and everything else. So anything you guys purchase, Helps me pay the bills, guys. Honestly, helps me pay the bills. And if I can't pay the bills, then I can't paint for you guys anymore. So I either need to get a roommate that wants to live in my painting studio, just sleep on the floor, because I can't have a bed in here. It's gotta be more studio <laughs> than anything else. Right? Otherwise, I'd be sleeping in here too much. Now, let's see if we can get any amount of this paint to come off. Otherwise, we're gonna have to get a new bit. All right, I'm gonna come out here. Of course, we gotta pop a couple stars out into the sky inside, then out here in our spacey sky, way outside there, gorgeous, coming over to here, and then a couple right in there as our little splashy waterfall bits come down and hit. You could even get away with like three, three little bits back in there, teeny tiny little water splashes that aren't as big as these water splashes, right? And that way gives it that depth that all of our stars, even stars back underneath here, some back there, all around, inside of the portal, even one back in there. Excellent. Very cool, guys. 
Very cool. Thank you for reminding me about the stars. I would have looked at it later and been like, dang it, now I got to go put stars on it and the camera's off and this, that, and the other. So let's scrape this old guy up. I want to hear from Alex and Sasha if they're still working. Uh, put your uh, comment, uh, if they're still working, if they're still watching, put your comment in the pin section and everybody go follow Sasha and say happy birthday to her son, Alex, who got an awesome painting because Airy Fairy Faye bought this painting. I was able to donate one to him for his birthday. So thank you to Airy Fairy Faye for that. I'm sure Alex loves you. I'm sure they would love to follow Airy Fairy Faye just for buying the painting that was able to get Alex a painting, right? Which was so cool. So thank you for the, the flower, the gifts and the hearts. And I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys so much. I'm happy that we got one to go and that we were able to get one of the old Paint With Josh paintings. It's going to go to an awesome little fan. And uh, who knows? Maybe in 20 years, it'll be worth a million bucks, right? Who knows? Who knows? So uh, Dan is awesome. I'm awesome. You're awesome. Everyone's awesome. Oh, the, uh, we're going to go get this one on the drying wall. Turned out fantastic. I have some really, you know what? I almost don't want to show you guys. I painted one earlier that's for next Wednesday. Uh, it's the tutorial for next Wednesday. So I almost don't want to show you. I'm itching to show somebody because it came out so stinking good. And it came out in these colors. Just fantastic. I'm like literally staring at it, like hanging on the wall. You guys want to see it? You guys, he said it's priceless. Dang right. But for a million bucks, sell it, bro. Sell it for a million. I would sell it for a million. Okay, so if somebody offers you a million for one of my paintings, take it. Take it, okay? You guys want to see it? All right, I got to be I got to be back. I got to be back. Hang on. Just right here. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to step out into the drying hallway of the studio. It's just my, my regular hallway in my house. <laughs> just like that. Look at this painting. You guys, look at this. I'm trying to keep all the glare off of it, right? Ah. Oh. Look at the purplies and the reds. Look at how soft everything is. And then you got the texture of the water, all the splashies. You got the freaking, the lighthouse back here. Ah, oh, with the full moon and the pink clouds and everything else and the spray. Oh, the spray, guys. Oh, so I think this one's like 244 in my shop right now. You can get it before we even release the tutorial. Somebody could have purchased it while we painted it earlier today, but we didn't have any takers for this one. So, um, I think it's because the only reason was because this one wasn't on sale because dummy me didn't put it in the sale, but it's on sale now for 244, I think, or two or 333. I, I can't remember. I can't remember. I've got another green one just like this, but blue, uh, sorry, green and yellowy. Very cool scene. Same lighthouse, a little bit over this way though. The lighthouse kind of shifted on the green one. Uh, we did another portal painting, you guys, the other night, and I'll show you the portal painting only because it's still for sale, along with that one, still for sale. And if you guys want to get one, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. It'll help me pay my rent this month if we can sell like one more painting. I can just sell one more. I know we just sold one, but if I can just sell one more, then I wouldn't be worried about the first coming up, okay? So um, if you guys could help me out, everything is 40% off and it's free shipping everywhere, everywhere in the world, free shipping. Okay, hold on, let me get this one. You guys are gonna like this. <clears throat> You guys are gonna like this. Let me tell you just quickly, right? Firstly, this little waterfall scene, this one's available with the frame upgrade for free. So you can get this one with the black frame for free, just like that. I think this one is like two, 215, something like that. Nothing too crazy. I lowered down all the prices, guys. We did like a drop of all the prices. Now, here's the portal painting from last night. Turned out fantastic. It's still very, very wet, right? Look at this one though. Oh, look at the trees, right? Look at that, all those little sprays, the little flowers that hang off the edge, the mountain, everything in this painting is just wicked awesome. Look at how wet it is, just sopping wet. Still, still wet. So it's gonna be very cool. It's even got these drips we threw in there. It's awesome. So if you wanna get a painting, just like this, we've got loads of them over in the Etsy store. If you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, you can get them before anyone else can even have a chance, right? So head over there, get your paintings, check them out. Everything's on Etsy, everything's for sale. And you know, towards the end of the month, we really try to lower the prices down and push hard for the paintings to sell. So I've got about 29, 30 paintings available in the shop, ready to go. And uh, 
I don't paint animals, unfortunately. I'm not very good at painting animals. Besides these little V-shaped birds, I can nail those guys. But any other animal we don't, we try to stick away from. So, uh, but like I said, until I see you guys on the next painting, thank you, Airy Fairy Fay, for purchasing this one. Came out fantastic. I love it. The fans love it. You love it. And uh, we gave that painting away to Alex. So Alex is gonna love receiving this one. Yeah, those are the old business cards. I'll even keep those attached. That's the very first round of business cards we ever did. But Alex will get this very cool Thanos painting sent to him. It's very bright in the lights. It's not really that bright in real life, but very cool. Sitting on the moon, looking up. That'll be a very neat little scene. Very, very neat. So, what in the heck? There we go, okay. Well, like I said, I love you guys. And uh, until I see you guys on the next painting, we're probably not gonna paint again tonight. Um, it's getting late. I gotta figure out where I gotta go pick up Bailey from this party. So. Um, yeah, let's see. The Northern Light one I did two days ago. The Northern Lights one I did two days ago. The one that sold with the ocean scene, the purple Northern Lights one with the ocean scene or the little cabin, that one, both of those have already been shipped off. Well, the ocean scene's downstairs. It's in the, it's in the drying garage. <laughs> uh, the blue Northern Lights, that would be neat. Let's see, Chick-fil-A was good. That's excellent, that's excellent. That's really making me want Chick-fil-A, so. What about two days? I'm confused. Do I paint with matte color? I paint with the Bob Ross color set and uh, Winsor & Newton colors, all sorts of different brands that we use to paint with. And uh, it doesn't, I like to tell you, it doesn't really matter what brand you have. You know, you could have a crimson and a blue. They don't have to be the exact same and they're gonna sort of work out very similarly to the ones that we have here. So will there be a blue Northern Lights with Ocean for sale? I was really hoping for one. A blue Northern Lights with ocean. I'm trying to think. I mean, beyond, here's the one of the only blue ocean scenes that we have available right now is this scene right here. It's blue and green. It's not really Northern Lights, but it does have a UFO way off there in the clouds. Is it a cloud? Is it a UFO? It's up, for, up, to, up to you to decide, right? So, let's see. Green Northern Lights from today? That would have been, I mean, it went really Northern Lights. It was more clouds, but I'll go get it for you. Hang on. That one's out in the hallway, too. You guys want to see every painting that I don't have right next to me. Now, this one was from last night, right? This green one with the... Uh, with the lighthouse. This one we did last night on the 28th. So it's got all the spray. It's got all the green water, right? The green clouds, got a green lighthouse way out there, right? Shining, it's got a couple little lights on the lighthouse even. Right in there, right? Brown on the rock, all sorts of stuff. You can get this one in the Etsy store again. I think it's like 244, it's nothing crazy for this one. So the one that we just did for tomorrow, for next Wednesday, this purpley one is a bit more expensive, right? Let's put this guy down. I'm running out of room to stand in here. This guy is more expensive because it's not released yet. It's for the tutorial. And in my opinion, it's a better painting. So it's got a higher price tag. That's how it goes, right? Sometimes you, you knock it out the park. Sometimes you just paint. So this one's got a much higher price tag because it's not been released and I feel it's a much better painting. I like the colors a little bit better, even though I like green and blue much better than blue and purple. For whatever reason, the shape of that wave came out great. This one's actually hanging in my bedroom right now. That's how much I like this one, right? The other one was hanging in the hallway. This baby was in my bedroom. Ooh, it's wet, don't touch it. So lots of paintings over there. So you can search for number 880 if you wanna get this painting, right? 880, we've got 882, 883 is already gone, 881 is around somewhere, and what's this waterfall one that we did? This one is, ah, 878, it's close, close, but no cigar, right? Just like that. Very cool little sunset painting, a lot of depth, a lot of distance, a lot of detail with all the branches, you got the rocks, you got the waterfall, got all sorts of stuff. Let's see, can you make the blue Northern Lights one? You wanna buy a, I don't understand. You wanna buy an original painting, right? We're talking Shadow Master, you wanna buy an original canvas painting and you want it to be 
northern lights ocean scene like this, right? Like a bluish ocean scene without the red because you don't want red in it, right? So no pink, no anything like that. Blue ocean scene with auroras instead of clouds. Is, am, I, am I getting you correctly? Am I understanding it correctly? Because if that's the case, tomorrow, uh, at some point tomorrow, I can, uh, may, I can paint you that painting and we can do it live right here on TikTok. So let me know if that's what you really think. What is that? Did someone just make a... Oh my goodness, you guys. So it looks like we got a canvas print. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's the resurrection one. I told you, you're gonna love that. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's an awesome canvas print. It's a very thick, uh, oh shoot, it's over there, but it's the same thickness as these guys, right? So it's a thick, thick canvas, an inch. It's gonna stick off your wall like a gallery painting does in a museum. Just fantastically. So. Let's see, waterfall with wave crashing. They're such good quality. The, the prints, they really are. The prints are fantastic quality. The, uh, it's just a digital image right onto a new canvas. It's fantastic. So let's see, green, bluish color, sea, ocean, and bushes like you did on this painting. So normally, I mean, when we do a ocean scene, I don't really leave a lot of room for bushes because I focus more on the wave itself because I love that stinking wave. But um, yeah, just see, Matt, have you ever done a matching picture set? You mean multiple canvases that show one big scene? I have done that, yes. A triptych, meaning three canvases, or a quadri or quadratic, I think, meaning four canvases, four canvas panels. I have done that. Uh, let's see, put some of your paintings on t-shirts. So I've done that in the past and no one bought them. No one gave a crap about because it's not like this, right? You can't have an all over print painting, right? It's gonna be like a rectangle, just like the painting right here in front of me, like this. This is what it would look like on your on your shirt, right? Just on the shirt, right? <laughs> Which is not everyone buys them. I don't know. I don't know why. You know what I mean? If you if you couldn't get the painting, or you didn't want the canvas print, you didn't want the poster for your wall. You're really gonna want the shirt to wear around, are you? You know what I mean? That's my thought, anyway. But let's see, I did a portal in this mountain, right? Uh, a mountain in this portal right here, actually. As you can see, boom, little snowy mountain inside our portal painting turned out fantastically. Just fantastically. <laughs> so we've got all sorts of portal paintings with mountains. That blue one's available in the store. I'm trying to fix a few little bits of it that seem to have gotten little drippy action a bit too far down the canvas. So it sort of, it sort of looks neat, right? It's the color. I might have to take this one out of the store now, <laughs> but it's the color that's dripped down as it hung. It was a bit too wet. And so it's dripped down into the scene. So we may have to just trash this canvas and, um, and just chalk it up to add too much paint on the, too much paint. Too much paint on the canvas can cause you an issue for sure if you've got too much blending medium and I probably didn't wipe it off. So let's see, can I do the painting behind me and change the sky background to Northern Lights? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the clouds or the sky inside? I mean, there's multiple places to do different things, but yeah, I can do anything. I can literally do anything. So I sell it for cheaper, I mean, Come on, are you really gonna buy it? Look at it, it's got like drips that are running down the canvas. <sighs> Freaking clown. What a clown I am, but it's okay. It's all right, we can try to fix it. And if we can't fix it, I think it looks really cool with them dripping down like that, but it's not what the original idea was. And now it's sort of drying and making it harder to even get rid of those little, Hmm, that's what you get. That's what you get when you're in a rush, Josh. That's what you get when you're in a rush. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. So, uh, up to you guys. Drop it down to a hundred bucks or just trash it. Like, honestly. Honestly, I mean, they look kind of cool. Right? I could even attempt to make it look like more drips were falling down. But it, you know, it is, it is what it is. I can either drop the price down or... Uh, or, you know, I could just chuck it. 
it bums me out because it's really a good painting. Like it's really a one of my favorites. And this has happened in the past. I used to have people send me photos of this all the time. Josh, why does this happen? Because you didn't wipe off all your excess liquid clear when you did your thing, right? Yeah. Why would you remember that, Josh? Why would you remember? Ah, oh, man. All right, garbage it is. Nobody wants it. No, no, see, look, right there. She says, Sasha says, I don't love it. Trash it. Okay. Straight in the garbage. Thank you, Sasha, for making it easier for me to, uh, to think. I'll just snap it in half. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll drop it. I see you guys going, no, no. All right, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Let's get this thing away from my feet before I step on the dang thing. That one's still wet. All right, let's come in. We're going to drop that portal painting down to less than 100 bucks. Guaranteed. 881. Let's find it. 881. 881. You guys better be searching for 881 in my Etsy store if you want to get this guy because it may go fast. 881. 881. There we go. So, what we say we're going to make it? Let's put it at, I don't know. Let's do it at that. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like at that price. Cause I'm not good at percentages. I have to like set the price and then go look at it in my store and then go back and reset the price. All right, 108. All right, we'll go down. We'll go down lower than 108. Helm to 108. What movie is that from? Anybody know? All right, come down here. Come over there. We gotta go down. Let's just go down another 20. Like that. 40% off brings it to 96, 96 bucks for that beauty right there. that I should have left flat drying instead of hanging on the wall. Sad. <laughs> One of my faves, but if somebody buys it at 96, it is just a little happy accident. It's very true. Then I'll have to redo another one and then I'll have another one available. So I love painting portal scenes. Not going to hurt my feelings if somebody buys it. Um, or if no one ever buys it, then it'll sit in my room as a constant reminder to wipe off your canvas before you start painting, Josh, because look at them. You can see it. These ones look awesome, right? I would love to get that effect throughout the whole thing. These ones I tried to make disappear and they stayed there, which was annoying. And then these guys, they're just there for good. They're never going away into the brightness of those clouds. But what can you do? What can you do? It's a lesson learned, right? I always tell you guys, and I always say, I don't ever follow my own advice. I always tell you guys what to do, and then I never do it. <laughs> so do as I say, not as I do, okay? And uh, I love you guys. I'm gonna get up on out of here. I can't believe that I figured that out just now. Now this guy, I remember I wiped it clear, so I'm not gonna have any drippage. And this one's probably gonna be dry within a day or two, seriously. Fantastic. But hello, what was that? No, you didn't. Who did that? You did not. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell. Not Tinkerbell, but Tinker. Tink Tink just bought it. Man, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. I love you for that. I really do. I'm so terribly sorry that it dripped. I really wish it wouldn't have done that. But you got a freaking sweet painting for a wicked deal. Um, Seriously, maybe I'll just drop every painting to under a hundred bucks. No, don't do that, John. Don't do that, John. I'll end up losing too much. Okay. Uh, I Seriously, I love you guys. I'm so, so, so thankful to everyone who buys a painting, who gets a shirt, who comments, who shares, who taps the screen, who sends me over to their grandma or sends a link to their grandkids or their kids and say, hey, watch this with Junior. Right? And really, you really might like to pick up on some painting techniques or something. I love all you guys so much. I really do. I love you, Tinker. You love it. And I love you. I love everybody. You guys are so fantastic. And I'm going to get out of here because I got to go figure out what I'm going to do with Bailey, whether or not she's staying the night at her friend's house. You know, every time there's a birthday party, like, oh, John, can I stay the night? Do you have everything you need? Well, no. Can you bring me this? We all did it. We all did it. So, especially Alex, right? Did telling Alex the whole time, listen to your mama, okay? Don't think you know best because we've already all done what you think you're going to do, whatever it is. <laughs> and moms will always catch you. They always catch you. 
There is no sneaking around moms ever. They always get you. So even into the older age, like myself, right? Just try to sneak around mom. She still find out. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, good night, everybody. We love you. Goodbye to the PWJ family. Uh, or good night, did that say? I don't even know. I can't stop looking at this painting. I really can't. It's so freaking just sweet. You're right, Sasha Stars. Sasha Stars. I'm going to follow you. She's got 40 followers, guys. Everybody go follow Sasha because it's Alex's birthday. And you better say happy birthday to Alex one more time. Happy birthday, Alex. My dude who just got this painting for free just because his mom reached out to me today and I was in a good mood. And I was like, you know what? I got a painting. I got two paintings that I want to give away, right? Here goes one. Boom, it's gone. Now the other giveaway we'll have to do at some point in the near future. So my uh, my manager came to me today and goes, how would you feel about giving away a painting? I was like, well, I'm already thinking about doing it, but you're talking about a new painting, giving away a brand new painting, like painting a painting and giving it away? I'm totally down for that. Are you guys down for that? Would you be totally down to watch me paint a painting and maybe we pull names out of a hat or something. And whoever gets pulled wins it. Wouldn't that be dope? Would that be sick? Man! Maybe we do like a dollar a ticket for five, ten. No, we do a dollar. Do a dollar per ticket. I could put them on my website, right? We could make little tickets. Put them on the website. You could buy as many as you want, right? You could buy a hundred if you want. You could buy two hundred. Buy a million, right? Every time we've ever done a, a drawing like that, it's always the person that puts in one ticket. I swear to God, I swear every time. Like, I got, I only put in one. And people are looking at me, I put in $37 worth of tickets. You put in $1 and you want it? What? <laughs> so I'm such a, I appreciate you, appreciate that. Your birthday's in August. Doop, doop. The um, London's dad's birthday's coming up soon. Be wicked cool, wicked cool. So yeah. Awesome. Luck of the draw. I mean, it's, that would be neat too, right? But I think for a dollar, everybody can afford a dollar. It's a dollar. It's like buying a song on iTunes, right? It's a dollar. Get a dollar, put in your dollar. And then it's like, you know, winner takes all the dollars. That's how it goes. So I think that'd be a cool idea. What do you guys think? Second and third place might get digital prints. That's cool. That's a cool idea. It depends on how many tickets. I mean, if we got, you know, 4,000 tickets, oh, I'd give you guys prints, pillows, canvas, whatever. We'd send you a whole house full of Paint With Josh stuff, right? But if we only got 40 entries, I can't really afford to ship out two other poster prints, you know what I mean, coming out of my own pocket and stuff. So all about how many entries we get really is what it would be. So yeah, oh, I almost forgot about that. First sign brush. Actually, should we put number one on it? Let's do that. Let's put number first. We got to get rid of this one, and then clean that guy off, and then we'll come over here. Where's my marker? There we go. And we'll put number one. Number one, going with the painting. Very cool. Very cool. So, will it hang? No way. Oh, it'll hang. How about that? That's what you get coming in your box. Did I just say that? That's what's going to be coming to you in the mailbox. Still doesn't sound very good. Whoa! <laughs> so, uh, Josh, I just bought a painting. I know, the blue one, right? Yeah. Oh, do you wanna, you want a brush too? See, is that what you mean? You want a brush as well? See? You message me on Etsy. Okay, cool. And once I get your message over on Etsy, we'll check it out. Let's see, first time. There we go. Got this over here. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. Hang on, I gotta respond back. I get I get judged on how fast I respond back on Etsy. So if you send me a message on Etsy, I have to respond back to you immediately. No matter what the heck I'm doing. Let's see, the painting behind you, just the forest and a mountain, and then above the northern light sky, most everything else, the photo stays the same. Absolutely love it. Another question, is it possible when shipping to mark it as a gift? I live in Norway and they put a huge tax on imports unless it's a gift. Absolutely, absolutely. 100, I think actually there's a way to purchase it that 
So what I'll do is I'll send you a custom link through Etsy. I'll send you the link. My website is paintwithjosh.com, right? That's the website. But the store website is paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can find the store website if you go to paintwithjosh.com. But yeah, let's see. Can you see the painting I just did? Please. That's it right there. That's the painting we just did. Ba-boom, right? This is the one that just sold on top of that one because there was a little bit of drippage in the in the paint up top. So there's a little bit of defect. So all we did was knock the price down and one of the uh, one of the super fans bought that one. So this one we just sold that we painted yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. And then this one we just sold uh, that we painted today. And then I've got tons of other ones, just tons. Like I've got this one right here. Ah, oh, this is one of my faves, guys. Bang, look at that giant 30 inch by 15 inch. So it's pretty big, right? It's not a small canvas. It's a pretty large canvas. Especially if you flip it on the side like this. Right? <laughs> so yes, we're done for the night. Uh, nobody, we are done. So I'm just showing you guys some of the few that we have left available in the store for purchase today, right now. This one, fantastic. This other one, fantastic as well. Right here, right? Excellent little painting. Same size, 30 inches by 15 inches. Trying to get it all without the glare. There we go. Awesome, long little ocean scene. Look at this sucker. To reach around, give it a whole hug, right? It's a premium canvas. It's got the two inch canvas around the whole side. Premium wood, signed, original painting. Got all these in the store available for you to get right now. Go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Now, I just found something as I was putting this over. I've never offered to give one of these away until right now, okay? The next person that buys an original painting, I can't believe I just found this. Oh my God, you guys don't even want to see this, right? Your boy happened to be on a magazine cover, no big deal, no big deal, it was just a little local magazine, no big deal, right? But I was on a magazine cover uh, two years ago, two years ago, and I do not look very uh, thin at all. So let's see. Oh, look at this guy. Who is this guy? Who is this? Just, oh, I don't, I don't know that person. Who is that person right there? So I'm going to sign this, right? And we'll give it away to the next person that buys an original painting is going to get my whole little story about my life, how I got into art. It's a two page full article on Paint With Josh. And if you want to get one, make sure I've only got three of these copies, three of these magazines left in the entire world. Three, three, that's it, just three. I know, I know guys, but I'm giving you guys brushes. You guys get brushes, right? Tinker gets a brush too. We'll give Tinker a one inch brush. Uh, where'd it go? There we go. Tinker gets a one inch brush with her purchase of her discounted painting, right? But if you want to buy a painting, which are all discounted at 40% off, and you want to get a one-of-a-kind magazine, there's only three of these left in existence, with a full two-page article, and we're going to sign it. All right, let's sign it right now. We'll sign the sucker. So anybody that buys the next painting, the very next painting that sells, will get a limited, limited, limited edition signed copy of the Paint With Josh story and how I got into painting initially. It's gonna be worth money eventually. Eventually. Yeah, I've only got two copies left of the entire thing. And I have, well, I have one downstairs framed. So that's my one copy. So two copies left that we could ever give away again. I got you a brush right there. One inch brush for Tink Tink. I don't have a, uh, a sleeve for it though, as of right now. I need to get some new brushes if I need to get new sleeves. So I'll get you the brush. It's there. It's gonna be inside with your painting. And, um, how much the painting, the be, sorry, I'd like to know how much the painting, the beach pink one. Oh, this one right here. So this one, I think is 333, so 333 and 33 cents. If you're talking about this one, this other one, which is the exact same size, the green one is a little bit less. And it's because this one has not been released to the public yet. So if you want to get this one, you're paying a premium price to own it before it's released to the public. So on Wednesday, this video goes out on YouTube and it'll be watched by countless thousands of people watching me paint that scene. 
So if you want to be able to look at your wall and see that painting and then watch your TV and watch that painting come to life in front of you, it's going to cost you a little bit extra right now. So that's how we do it. That's how we've always done it until it gets released uh, on Wednesday. And at that point, the price will come down to about the same price as the other one, which is 260 or 240 something like that. But as of right now, if you want to get it, you got to pay the premium. Um, I wish too. I wish. This is my job. This is all I do to make money. Um, yeah. So without you guys, I there is no paint with Josh. Literally. I couldn't live. I couldn't pay the bills. I couldn't pay the, the rent. Couldn't pay the lights. Couldn't pay the, the Wi-Fi. Couldn't pay the phone bill. So without you guys, there is no me for sure. If you guys love me and love watching me, I need your support to keep me up here, right? Without you guys, I got to go back to a real job. And um, that would just feel like failing to me. I don't want to do that. So let's see. Will the painting behind you be sold as a digital print? Possibly in the future. Um, within the next week or so. It'll probably be available in my store. Probably within the next week. Yeah. Takes, I got to get photos of it. I got to do all this. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mission. And then I got to create the template. And I got to do all this extra work. And then nobody buys the posters. And I'm like, why do I even do this? Why do I do all this extra work if no one's going to get it, right? So you love it. Excellent. I have one in the store right now that's very similar to this. It was the first one that we ever did that, that sparked this idea for this composition, right? This is version two or three or four of this painting. Um, but the very first original one we kept as a poster print. So if you want to get one a little bit bigger, uh, it's got a tree in the front over here. I don't think it has the trees out in the thing. So it's a little different, very similar, but different. Go check out my store, go to paintwithjosh.com. You're very welcome. You're very, very welcome, Sasha. Uh, go to paintwithjosh.com though, and then find the Etsy store link. It's the very first link you see on paintwithjosh.com. It'll take you to the page, search the word poster, and then as you're scrolling down through, you'll see one with a little portal in it, just like that. It's fantastic. So let's see. I saw you like this one better. That's fine. Totally up to you. A lot of times, that's why we don't do every painting, right? I feel maybe the other one is better. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I don't do every painting doesn't turn into a print. Only the best of the best. And uh, if I decide later on after taking a photo of this painting and looking at it and going, okay, this is one of the best of the best then it gets to be a print. If I don't think it's one of the best of the best, then it doesn't because I already have one very similar. If I put out every paint, I mean, you guys know I paint so often, right? I paint every day. So we're talking about in a month, right? Maybe 10 waterfalls, 10 waves, 10 portals, right? Say we did that on a, on a regular, you would get sick of me, right? You get sick of me doing the same thing, having the same, oh, there goes another blue, black, and water, you know, blue, black, and purple, and this, that, and the other portal waterfall thing. Even though they'll never be 100% the same, I don't put every single one out as a print. So I get it. You know, you get it. I get it. We all get it. But until I see you guys again next time, I'm going to get out of here. I'm so hungry. Uh, how many paintings do I do in a day? It depends on the weekends or, you know, my weekend, which is a, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then I go back to work on Tuesday. I do a part-time job three days a week. So my weekend, Friday through um, Monday, I may paint two, three times on Friday. Uh, I've already painted twice today, so, um, maybe paint once or twice tomorrow. We got the Monday night madness show at eight on Monday. So we'll just paint a one timer on Monday. And then on Tuesday, it all depends how much energy I have really. <laughs> so bye everybody. Thank you for, for purchasing that, that defective painting tinker. I really, you won't even notice it. You know what I mean? I'm looking at it because I painted it and I know what I had planned it to look like and what it did look like before it dripped. And, um, it's just a, a constant reminder. You got to wipe off that, that uh, excess clear. Otherwise, it could drip down and cause something bad to happen. So thank you for purchasing that, though. It is an excellent painting. And uh, I'm going to have to do another one now and try to remember to wipe off that clear. So I love you guys. Good night, Hypnotic Beauty, Cosmic Lighthouse, Airy Fairy Fay, all the girls, the sister wives, and everybody else. Good night. I love you guys. And I can't wait to come back and do it again. So until then, we'll see you later. Take care, guys.